world's most dangerous volcanoes. Volcanoes have caused some of the greatest destruction to human beings of all time. And if you're near one during an eruption, you don't stand much of a chance of escaping, as you'll soon learn. Here's some active volcanoes around the world that could, at any moment, unleash the terror that bubbles within their depths. Before we get deeper into these volcanoes, we'd like to throw an epic shout out to Zit to Zizo Bellix 373. Hopefully I said that somewhat correctly. <laughs> for their revealing comment in response to our scariest creatures kept as pets video. It might be kind of gross and weird that your buddy kissed his cockroach, but at the same time, your friend must have really loved his pet, and there's nothing wrong with that. Teithe. Though it hasn't erupted since 1909, analysts predict that Teithe will erupt violently in the future. Though, as is the case with volcanoes, they can't say exactly when. Experts note, with more than a little trepidation, that the volcano's structure is eerily similar to dangerous volcanoes that you'll find later on in the video. An increase in seismic activity in 2003 had people ready for the worst. Nothing eruptive happened, but a rift opened in the mountain's northeast flank. The activity indicated magma bubbling deep below the surface was rising. While this could be a precursor to an eruption, some such is not always the case. Despite the potential danger surrounding Teithe, the mountain and surrounding national park are the most visited natural wonder in Spain, and the eighth most visited in the world, with around 3 million visitors every year. Mount St. Helens Mount St. Helens did the most damage of any volcano in the history of the United States when it erupted on May 18, 1980. 250 homes, 47 bridges, 15 miles of train tracks, and 185 miles of highway were destroyed. 57 people lost their lives. This photo was taken from 35 miles away in Toledo, Washington. The mushroom top of that giant ash cloud created by the eruption is 40 miles wide and 15 miles high. One of those lost during the disaster was volcanologist David A. Johnston, who is stationed nearby. Here's the 30 year old man smiling at the camera just hours before the eruption. Moments before being hit by pyroclastic flow, Johnston radioed his famous last words. Vancouver, Vancouver, this is it. His body was never recovered. We should also mention, though his photos or even pictures of him are unavailable to use for this video, that another casualty, Robert Landsberg, took pictures of Mount St. Helens and then lay on his camera and film so it could be saved for people to find, knowing that he was too close to the eruption to escape with his life. As heartbreaking as these stories are, the courage each man showed in the face of certain doom is remarkable, and these actions deserve to be remembered. Though steam began seeping from a fracture, and seismic activity became noteworthy in 2008, it quickly calmed down, and no eruption seems imminent today. Sakurajima. For over a century, Sakurajima lay dormant, hiding its destructive nature from the nearby people of Japan. Then, in January of 1914, several large earthquakes warned nearby residents that Sakurajima was about to blow. Everyone got the hell out of the vicinity, and on January 11th, a massive explosion created huge clouds of ash and pyroclastic flow, which, by the way, is a current of gas and volcanic matter that moves away from the volcano at speeds of up to 450 miles per hour. Here's a black and white picture of the eruption at one of its most violent points. Lava flow continued for months, causing the island to grow and connecting it to mainland Japan by a narrow isthmus. Tides in the area were even affected, becoming markedly higher following the disaster. And the volcano wasn't done. It's actually been erupting on a much smaller scale constantly since the 1950s, with thousands of tiny explosions happening annually. Scientists predict that a major eruption, similar in scale to the 1914 event, will occur sometime in the 2040s. Hopefully Kagoshima, a city of 700,000 that lies just miles away, will be ready for it. Mount Etna the second largest active volcano in Italy is Vesuvius, which is two and a half times smaller than the country's largest, Mount Etna. We'll get into Vesuvius a little later, but first, more about the massive Mount Etna. Not only is this beast nearly 11,000 feet high, but it's also in a near constant state of activity. Major, destructive eruptions occur with regularity. A large eruption occurred starting in 2002 that threw up a giant column of ash. It could easily be seen from space, and astronauts in the International Space Station took pictures of the epic event as proof. Galeris. As the most active volcano in Colombia, Galeris isn't to be taken lightly. Nine people lost their lives during a 1993 eruption, including six scientists who were in the crater taking samples and measurements. Small explosions occur on Galeris regularly, and a significant explosion seems to take place every year. The nearby city of Pasto is regularly blanketed in ash layers, and has been evacuated multiple times in lieu of volcanic activity. 
Mauna Lao, the biggest of five volcanoes that form the island of Hawaii, Mauna Lao last erupted in 1984. While eruptions are dangerous, they don't usually cause while eruptions are dangerous, they don't usually cause fatalities because they tend to be non-explosive and very fluid. Eruptions have, however, destroyed villages, once in 1926 and again in 1950. The modern-day city of Hilo is partially built on lava flows from hundreds of years ago. Colima, one of the most feared volcanoes in Mexico, Colima has experienced eruptions since 2001. Residents living nearby are regularly on alert and have had to evacuate many times before. Recent activity means that everyone is on super high alert around Colima these days. During December of 2016, plumes of ash could be seen several times a day. The day after this picture was taken, there were three eruptions. And in January of this year, a strong explosion happened that sent ash over 13,000 feet above the crater. Turrialba. Once upon a time, not too long ago as a matter of fact, Turrialba could be explored at will. People visiting the Turrialba Volcano National Park were able to hike down into the main crater, but recent increased activity put an end to all that. This eruption in October of 2014 sent volcanic materials to areas up to 25 miles away. It's a shame the volcano is more dangerous nowadays, because on a clear day, from the top of the volcano, you get an unbeatable view of both the Pacific Ocean and the Caribbean Sea. Pavlov. Luckily, this stratovolcano is tucked away in the uninhabitable Aleutian Range on the Alaskan Peninsula. We say lucky because this volcano is one of the most active in the entire country. Eruptions occur almost every year, and one last happened in March of 2016. We can see steam and gas rising ominously from its crater here in 2004. Mount Merapi. Like most of the volcanoes on this list, Merapi was identified as one of 16 decade volcanoes. This group of volcanoes have been deemed worthy of close study due to their history of, or potential for, earth-shattering, ultra-destructive eruptions. It's a project that was initiated by the United Nations. But anyways, back to Merapi, also called Fire Mountain. Merapi is one of the most feared places in Indonesia. It's the country's most active volcano, with eruptions occurring regularly for the last 500 years. On most days, Merapi looks like this with smoke constantly escaping from its peak. A particularly large explosion in 1994 took the lives of 27 people. Mount Vesuvius. You may recognize this stratovolcano as the one that erupted in the year 79, famously burying and consequently preserving the Roman city of Pompeii in ash. That explosion released 100,000 times the thermal energy of the atom bomb dropped on Hiroshima during World War II. Though exact figures are unknown, over 1,000 people died during that eruption almost 2,000 years ago. We know all of this thanks to Pliny the Younger, a lawyer and author who witnessed the natural disaster firsthand and wrote about it in two letters to his historian friend Tacitus. While Vesuvius hasn't blown up so catastrophically in the years since, it hasn't been dormant either. It's erupted many times, most recently in 1944 when a United States Army Air Force tail gunner was able to snap this picture from the B-24 he was flying in at the time. Here's a more recent picture. You can see that it still releases large amounts of ash, and that on that particular day, you can almost make out a cryptic face amongst the plume, though the true nature of the image is unclear. The chilling shot is a reminder that Vesuvius could erupt violently at any time, and with roughly 3 million people living nearby, it's considered one of the world's most dangerous volcanoes. Santa Maria. One of the three largest volcanic eruptions of the 20th century took place at Santa Maria, a huge active volcano located in the western highlands of Guatemala. It happened in 1902 and was induced by a seismic swarm starting in January of that year. For at least 500 years before the infamous 1902 eruption, Santa Maria lay dormant. For at least 500 years before the infamous 1902 eruption, Santa Maria had lay dormant. Then, starting on October 24th, several large explosions occurred, sending volcanic ash as far away as San Francisco, which is around 2,500 miles away. Remarkably, and as you can see, pictures of the eruption were taken. Due to a lack of eruptions, the locals didn't see the seismic activity leading up to the event as foreboding. Consequently, at least 5,000 people lost their lives, and a subsequent malaria outbreak took countless more. Thanks for checking out the world's most dangerous volcanoes. We hope everyone out there enjoyed watching our video as much as we did making it and learning about all of those volcanoes. Be sure to click that subscribe button on your way out, and we'll see you all soon.
Mount Niragongo. For sure, the most striking aspect of Mount Niragongo is its giant lava lake, which looks like some sort of portal to the underworld. It can be found within Virunga National Park, which is in the Democratic Republic of Congo. It's not surprising when looking at its lava lake that eruptions are unusually fluid for a volcano. Luckily, most lava flows move very slowly and pose no real threat to humans. Niragongo has, however, had two major devastating eruptions in its recent history. In 1977, a crater wall fractured and the lava lake within drained rapidly, causing lava to flow down the volcano at the highest speed ever recorded, 40 miles per hour. Entire villages were destroyed and at least 70 lives were taken. Then, in 2002, following increased seismic activity in the area, a giant fissure ripped through the south flank of the volcano. Lava spread to the outskirts of the city of Goma, covering parts of the runway at the city's airport. Estimates say that 147 people succumb to asphyxiation as well as building collapses due to lava and earthquakes. Habitable. <laughs>